Right, so what we're now going to look at is selecting data from our database table, but doing uh, something slightly different and selecting data as a different name. So let's say we wanted to select the name of our article, but we wanted this to be returned to us as a completely different column name. Now we've already seen this when we work with the count, so this is a, a very similar thing, but it works with all other columns as well. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select star from... Um, in fact, no, I'm not going to select. I'm not going to select everything. I'm going to select name from articles, and that's going to give me uh, the only article that we have, and uh, it will give me the name of the article. Now, what if I want to call the uh, call this article underscore name just for the sake of argument? Um, I, I'm going to now say as, and I'm going to give this the the name that I want to call the column. So I'm going to call this article underscore name. So I'm now saying select the name of the column as article underscore name from articles. What this will now do is it will provide me with article name um, in place of the actual column name. So I'm almost like masking the column name. Now if I want to go ahead and also get the description, I can go ahead and get the description as article underscore description if I wanted to. So article underscore description. So what I've actually done here is I've comma separated. So what we've done is select name as article name, comma, description as article description, comma, or comma if we wanted to do more, but if we don't we just say from articles. So that will give me article underscore name and article underscore description. So you can do this with any fields or any functions that return values based on your database data as we saw with count earlier. But this gives you the opportunity to return data uh, in a, perhaps a better format if you've got no control over the table um, or if for naming conflicts. So if you have conflicts in different uh, namings within your application, um, you can go ahead and specify how you want these to be returned.